Hey everybody, it's Jamie from Plum Island Sea Cabin. It is December 24th, it's Christmas Eve. It's also my birthday. What a great way to spend the day, but at the beach. I'm actually here with my dad. Um, he's visiting from Florida, which is awesome. Um, it's a little chilly, it's uh, in the 20s. I think it's around 24 degrees, so um, he has that warm Florida blood. <laughs> so we'll see how he does today, but I think he's gonna be having a good time. He has never found a sand dollar before, so uh, that can't happen. So we're gonna see if we can find him one and uh, let's go check it out. Let's see what he's doing down there and let's get to shelling. This is my dad, say hi. You have that warm Florida blood. This is cold. <laughs> Give you a little view of the beach today on Christmas Eve. So glad to have you with me. Very low surf. The last I checked, it looked like the surf was running parallel to the island, so we have very little waves than we have for the past few weeks, which is not very good for shelling. But it is very beautiful. Lump in the sand here, see if anything is under it. Oh, got something. Something big. Oh, it's a huge surf clam. So these are filter feeders. So it was probably down there along the bottom. You can see all the water coming out of it, sucking up some water. And then it has a filtration system where it filters out the food, takes the food and expels the water. So we saw a lump, we dug down and we found the surf clam. So I'm gonna put this little guy back in here, bury him up again, let him do his thing. Bye. So we are heading up to see my dad and there's a couple things going on here that's very cool. There is a very nice New England Neptune shell. Very nice New England Neptune shell. It is broke. I have yet to find one of these whole, but uh, I will keep this because it does have some really cool banding and really cool markings on it. So that is a nice one. So we're finding a lot of cool things this Christmas Eve morning. This looks like it was an old Pepsi bottle. So you can see this is probably from like the 70s or maybe the 80s. I'll have to look up the exact date. But this is an old Pepsi bottle. And as you can see, none of the glass has been dulled down or turned into frothy sea glass. So you can see, I mean, this is almost what, if it was in the 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000, so if this was back in the 70s, almost 50 years old and uh, still not turned into sea glass. So that just gives you a good idea and indication how long it takes for sea glass to actually form and turn frothy. Take that home with us so no one gets injured on it and dispose of it properly. It's my dad searching told him what to look for. It's given the rocks a good once over. We'll see if he finds anything. You see it? Yeah, it's white color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Want me to grab it? Yeah. It's a good one too. It's a nice one. You should keep this one. <laughs> nice. <laughs> He's like, it's mine. <laughs> Let's see what else we can find. 
It is such a beautiful morning out on the beach. Great way to spend my birthday. Here is a very cool, this is part of a very large lobster tail. Put this down here. Here's a nice mud snail. A lot of these shells are blue when I pull them out of the ocean. They're kind of rare when I find them blue and I love them because they are blue. Blue is my favorite color. When I take them home and they dry out, they actually turn tan or they turn orange. And uh, when they dry, they lose that blue color. And I try to bring them back by re-wetting it or bring it back by rubbing them down with mineral oil. But no matter what I do, the blue has gone. And what happens when I pull them out of the water and it hits the air, they start to oxidize. And when they oxidize, they lose that blue color. They turn to whatever color or valiance that the iron changes to, whether it's orange or sometimes it could be green or black um, or tan, but I lose that blue color. So that's why a lot of times in the videos where I pull them out of the water and they're blue, I bring them home and I'm like, oh, bummer. It didn't stay, it turned to a completely different color. So that's just a little bit of science for you there. Um, we are gonna experiment and do some tests where we take those shells and we pat them down. And instead of letting them dry completely before they dry, we dip them in urethane to see if we can, we can keep that blue color. So uh, that's something we are gonna try in the future. I will report back and let you know if it works, but it would be awesome to keep some of those blue shells. Fish bones. The water is very cold today. My hands are very red. So we're heading back to the car. My feet are wet. I do have boots on today because it is very cold. My hands are really red from uh, getting them wet in the water, but we're gonna take off. My dad found a bunch of sand dollars, which is super exciting for him um, and for me. It was fun. I, I like watching people find things, so that was really cool. But uh, thanks for shelling with me today, and I will see you next time we hit the beach. Bye, everyone.